Here we'll be looking at the remaining pieces where we have three bars soft and the last four pieces for the last bar are all on the top face. So let's look at the two easy cases first. The two easier ones are of the not so easy ones first. So for this case, uh, we recognize this by having a partial bar float and uh, the last piece being not opposite of it. So there are two such cases. This one has the piece separated from the bar, and this one has the piece attached to the bar with an L shape in the corner. So for this one, what most people would do would be to insert this partial bar with RU to R prime, and then use a commutator to solve this last piece. So it would be like that, and then U and then commutator. This doesn't have any cancellations, unlike the cases shown in part one. So this isn't very efficient. A better solution here would be to use some kind of block building. So we bring up the size. Then we have this 3x1, this 3x1, and this 2x1 here. So join up the 3x1s and join the 2x1 and we're done. So bring the size up. 3x1, 3x1, and 2x1. Done. For this case, it's very similar. Instead of doing RU to R prime to insert this partial bar, we move the bar over its position and then instead of bringing up this third slice, we bring up the fourth slice instead and do the same thing. So let's look at the third case. This one is not so simple, but it sets up to the previous previous case. So yeah, we do this one is recognized as a weird shape, or however you want to recognize it. That's really up to you. Then we move the two separated pieces over the free slot. Then set up to this case. And the fourth case we'll look at is the two. The fourth and fifth cases we'll look at will be the two kite shaped cases. So this is one of them and this is another one of them. And they're both solved in similar ways which is why we're looking at them together. So for this one with the kite um, with a small kite, you just do move the two pieces, align the kite so that two of them are on are over the free slot, and do R U to R prime, and this sets up the five move commutator cancellation case. For this one, it's the same thing. You move two pieces over the slot, R U to R prime and then a commutator cancellation case again. So that brings us to the last two cases. Uh, so we have this case and this case, which look sort of similar but are have different solutions. For this case, what we do is we AUF two pieces over the free slot, then RU to R prime, and then we get this little triangle and this um, corner in the slot. Then we rotate 3R prime, U, R prime, U prime, 3R. So this is a five move case which is quite useful if you are planning to learn the full set for solving the last bar and highly recommend learning it. So do this. This is just the inverse of this case. Oh, wait. It's just the inverse of this case. So for this case, we do R U R prime and then cancel into a commutator. The other case, 
with the triangle it is just uh cancel it. It's just the inverse of that. Yeah. So for this final four piece case, what we do is uh remove the two obliques to the left side and the two corners so that they are horizontal. Then do three R and use this piece and this tree to form the inner bar. Instead of using these four pieces, it's this one and this tree. Then when we bring this two slices down, we have the three pieces over here. Then we just solve the last bar like we do on a 555. And yeah, that covers, I think, most should be all of the cases with four pieces on top.